Um, mm -hmm. Just pay close attention to the waveform because it shows the progress of the render. Got it. Okay, it's good. It's not bad. Um, let me just play it. This California sunshine It feels so warm on my skin The smell of California already inside of me I took a train to California Keep an eye on the waveform. This is still in default state before I load the voice. Okay. I'm gonna choose Natalie too. Now oh, there you go. Well, that's a it's lot done. Faster. It's done. Right? Yeah. So let me start playing it. This California sunshine, it feels so warm on my skin. The smell of California. Already inside of me, I took a train to California. California, here I come, right back to where I started from. Let's start by um, setting the whole track to bold 100%. Okay. Listen to it. This California sunshine. Let me solo this track. It feels so warm on my skin. The smell of cap. Now look carefully. See, there is also a plus icon. Yeah. If I click it, okay. it expands into three sliders. Yeah. Pitch, timber, and pronunciation for bold. So. For example, I can uh, reset the pitch for bold, reset the timbre, but uh, the pronunciation, but keep the timbre. Mm -hmm. And then I will also expand soft and give it a softer pitch, a soft pronunciation. Okay, let's hear it. This California sunshine, it feels so warm on my skin. The flow of the words are softer. Yeah. The texture remains sharp. Sunshine. This California sunshine. And I'll also add a layer it of warmness so warm just for on the tender. My skin. The smell of California already inside of me. I took a train to Mount 20, 25, California. So let's say uh, I want to fix this. I, uh, it feels so warm on my skin. Mm -hmm. I will select this. And uh, let's go to the node pan panel. We're adding an option for rating the timing, the phoneme timing. Specifically, I want to change it feels so um, before it sounds like this. It feels so warm. I want to bring out the it a little bit. Okay. So I'll just do a retake all. It feels so warm. Another one. It feels so warm. Okay. It's probably a bit too shaky. Another yeah. one. It feels so warm on my. Yeah, let's just that good. listen to it again. It feels so warm on my skin. Let me show you. Um, this is like the replacement for that feature. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say we're doing it for a... I took a trend to NAM 2025. Okay. So we start um, selecting everything, set it to stable. I took a train to Mount 2025. Setting to refund. Okay. I took a train to Mount 2025. Vibrant. I took a train to Mount 2025. Vibrant here is like enhancing the details of the voice. 
So okay. for example, you can have a high, uh, not high, but you can have the expression um, pad on Labyrinth, but set to the vibrato modulation to low. You see what's changing are the beginning and the ending of each node. Yes. These are still shaky, so compared to default to Labyrinth. Mm. I took a train to land 2025. So now the last one, RAW. Mm -hmm. RAW is probably the most interesting one. It's like what we're trying to do here is like bringing out the original dynamics in the training samples. You may notice something slightly off at some parts. I took a train to land 2025. You see, it has that kind of dynamics to it, although uh, it makes a lot of mistakes. So here's the phoneme panel. Before we get here, you know, we did have a similar feature in the first version, yeah. um, the phoneme sliders. I guess for the NAM, maybe the M isn't sounding clear enough. Let's hear it again. Train to NAM 20. Now, all you need to do is just to hover on um, top of the M, and you see, I can just okay. shift it here. Okay. Let's listen to it again. Train to NAM 20. And the other thing is, if you look at those horizontal uh, bars, yeah, these are for controlling the strength of each volume. Not just loudness, but it has to do with fundamentally how much effort, how much you know strength you put into pronouncing each volume. So the first 20, I set the, the E to like low strength. Mm -hmm. The second one set it to a high strength. Okay, let's listen to it. Train to NAM 2025. So that goes one level even deeper into detail. Mm. Uh, if you look at the waveform above them, you see this is actually the timing. This is like the envelope for uh, those consonants. Mm -hmm. So we have like, uh, or trend here. Okay. You can actually drag it to control where the T of our trend starts. Okay. Book a train to... And I can make it longer like this. Book a train to... Making it weaker here. Book a train to... So uh, for this one, probably I'll just do it here. I'll here and make it shorter. To good train to NAM 20. Smart pitch controls. Okay. So let me show you this feature on this line. Uh, California, here I come. It's like, mm. by default, it sounds like this. California, here I come. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to the smart control points mode. And I will double click to add a bit of a dip mm -hmm. uh, on California. In version one, we had the control points, but these were only for, you know, it's, it's adding on top of the existing, like already rendered pitch curves. It's adding a layer on top of that. Yeah. Uh, what we have here is once you placed, um, once you have placed these control points, the model that generates pitch, is gonna see it. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna take that as a reference. And when it's generating the pitch, it's trying to pass through that point you have just placed. For this one, it sounds like this. California. You can hear the inflection. Yeah. But it goes more than just when I place the point. In fact, when you place a point and you drag it, it's going to mm. rewrite it in real time. Okay. And this kind of interaction is going to enable a lot of interesting use cases. If you really want to go into details, uh, you can go to smart control points. You can add a point here and there. In this example, I just add four points, even though they're more uh, cycles of the world models. Mm -hmm. I can select these two, drag it down, select these two, drag it up. And you see, the system knows there is a world model structure. So when I do this, it's going to flatten the other web model. So it's the pencil tool here. So for example, for this part, um, it currently sounds like this. Here I come. Now, I want to add a bend to the end of I to make it like, here I come. Yeah. So in this case, I don't even need to drag like, through the whole note. I can only draw a portion of just the, the diving part. Okay. So like this, it's like auto completion. Yes. If I play it. Here I come. If you want to complete a flattened page, you can just draw a straight line. Uh, maybe make it sound like auto-tuned, you know. <laughs> can do some really weird things here. Yeah. Just for example. Here I come. Another advantage of this feature is this curve that I have drawn, these are assigned onto the node. So if I move these nodes 
just watch. They're gonna move along with the node. We have a new parameter called mouth opening. The mouth opening parameter is a little bit special. Um, yeah. You see that I haven't changed anything, but there's already a dashed line in the background. It's visualizing yeah. the current, like the default mouth opening. Yeah. So if I change it, for example, I'm gonna lower the near opening toward the end. Mm -hmm. California. California, California, here I come. I want it to sound more like here I come. Right now it's like here I come, right? Hmm. So okay. I'm going to create a dip here, like this. Here I come. Um, let me ask you three very important questions, of course, for the users. First of all, when is it going to be available, this new version? Second, the cost of it? And third, is there going to be a discount for it? You know, I really wish for this version just to become available today. Mm. But as you see, this is still a work in progress. And we haven't done you know, such a huge update in almost five years. Uh, we, we still need to you know, not just tell the users what it's about, but also tell brief our partners let them prepare about the release because it's going to be such a comprehensive update to the whole system. Hmm. Um, I will sincerely ask for some more time to prepare. But at the same time, uh, I do acknowledge that people are expecting for discounts and uh, you know many other benefits as long-time users. Yeah. So I fully respect that and just ask for a little bit more time for us to prepare. Okay, but it will come soon, right? That is our mission.